For a long time, I've thought how good it would be to take teachers to Rwanda, and it happened uh, this last July. I'm Carl Wilkins, World Outside My Shoes, the guy there on the right. And I was able to take nine educators this past first, first two weeks of July to Rwanda to see the country for themselves. You know, everybody thinks about animals when you get to Africa, and Rwanda has, of course, so much more than their animals, famous for their gorillas. But our teachers who were coming along with us, um, Educators who taught Holocaust, who teach Holocaust, genocide, human rights studies, were looking for so much more. And Rwanda, uh, it has so much more than you can ever begin to experience. As we drove around the country, um, climbing some of these thousand hills, not only seeing the incredible beauty, but seeing the progress forward. How how this country is moving forward technologically, educationally, in so many ways. We spent quite a bit of time at the Kigali Memorial there. Um, trying still to wrap our minds around what had happened. Not only educational material there and, and displays, but uh, gardens just to reflect. It was really hard visiting the churches that they have left um, where so many countless people lost their lives. To understand it is it will constantly baffle us. It was a pleasure to visit other technical schools, cooperatives, where moms are working side by side, mothers who've lost so much, both to death and, and in prison, um, and creating these things of beauty, starting life over again. Real life heroes, Damas Kasimba there at Kasimba Orphanage. Damas not only told us about things that happened during the genocide, this is the orphanage I worked with during that time, but he also told us what his work is like as a judge right now in Gachacha, having people in his courtroom who actually killed in his orphanage. Heroic work he continues to do. Real comfortable guest house for our first week there in the eastern province. We're really privileged to be hosted. Um, uh, the governor, Governor Kabayija of that province, made so many arrangements, and, and uh, he had arranged for this school to be a sister school, the Gakoni High School, sister school with um, Hamburg School there outside of Buffalo, New York. The students just gave us a royal welcome, and it was great to get acquainted with the teachers, the, the program there. Quick little stop to it, Gakoni Orphanage. Kids were just irresistible, as they are all around the world. You know, mixed in among all of these, we had chances to visit with survivors. This mother and daughter story left us all just wondering what we really think forgiveness means. Their their story inspired us beyond words. The young teachers at the teacher college who are learning English and really moving forward with uh, enthusiasm were just a real inspiration. And of course, we were there during July 4, which is Liberation Day in Rwanda. The marching band, the thousands of people in the stadium to hear President uh, Kagame speak, as well as the President of Uganda and Prime Minister of Ethiopia, the widow of Julius Nereri, very inspiring day. And a real success story on the road uh, west is um, Gerard Sina's factory and farms. Um, this man does everything from start to finish, value added to the product. That's his philosophy. It was it was a great day at uh, at his his establishment. Good to pass by old stomping grounds as well, and to just travel around the city with the teachers, recounting stories about what had happened during the genocide there at the Red Cross, and uh, at our home. We didn't get to spend much time there, but uh, it was a pleasure to travel around the city and share stories. It was also really um, uh, just a, a, a real memorable experience to Life Lifting Hands had organized another cow distribution. Those in the states who are giving money for cows, um, we got to see the families that they were distributed to. Um, these cows, when they give birth, the family will keep the calf, and the cow will be passed on to another neighbor. We wanted to walk home, and so you've always got kids with you, and followed a cow to its new home was nice to the day before flying out to uh, uh, be able to talk with a group in a church there um, a church where we could be looking at hope in the future the courage of the people of Rwanda and of course it was tough to leave our buddy Travis behind Travis is a college student teaching English there's tons of opportunities for English language uh, teaching uh, in Rwanda right now um, anybody who's willing to take the time and to travel um, we there's a 
bunch of places that welcome your help. Really good to be back home as always. Um, and uh, you know, if you'd like to travel to Rwanda, um, perhaps next summer, please get in touch with me. Uh, website there, worldoutsidemyshoes.org, and um, we can uh, we can make some arrangements. I'm sure. Thanks so much. <laughs>